Well, it's interesting because like in manufacturing, I, I think uh, there's a stat, a recent interview told me, and, and I, I assume it's correct, that by 2028, you know, five, six years from now, there'll be two and a half million, and this is U.S. based, two and a half million U.S. manufacturing jobs that will go unfilled just because of the way the uh, labor pool is shaping up right now. So, yeah. so here, that is what I hear again and again is the biggest challenge is finding skilled labor to make the stuff that people want to buy. So from a, from a financial planning point of view, like you, you say, okay, well, let's say that's, let's say that that's, that's true. And it's not going to change in your locality. Like you can't, you can't will the workers into existence. So, but you can order some robots, right? But that's not trivial. That's, you know, that's, that's CapEx, that's OpEx. That's, uh, it's a way of working and a whole new thing. So how do you help somebody transition, like come to grips with those facts? Do you still have, do you still have owners thinking, well, you know, the labor, you know, they'll come back. They'll, they'll, we'll, we'll get the people we need, uh, or, you know, kind of in denial of what's happening everywhere. So how do you help them shift into thinking about what we really, really got to do, even if it's not something they prefer to do? Well, I guess what we've done is we've, we've evaluated all of our staff to their skill level. We've also advised them that the world be changes. And so we want to see, I would say more so than anything, we want to see people that are willing to work and learn. Mm-hmm. So if they're willing to work and learn and, and, and we'll empower them to do some of that activity, then they, then we can do the training to allow them because some of this equipment, uh, it's, it's actually easier to operate than, than some of the older equipment. Some of the older equipment did need some unique skills, which we, we are having trouble filling. Some of the newer equipment, it's, it's, it's a bunch of bunch, buttons you push, not that I could do it. Right. Uh, so I would say the training on some of that newer stuff is probably less difficult, but it's more, you know, we want staff that are willing to do their very best enjoy what they're doing and be solid contributors. And if, if they've got those skills, then they're keepers. 